Legends here with another video, and in today's video, I want to point out a few stuff that I believe we need to have in car parking multiplayer sometime in the near future. Most of these have been suggestions from you guys that I completely agree with. Comment down below which suggestions are your favorite, and if you have any other suggestions from the ones in the video, feel free to comment those as well. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's dive right in. The first suggestion I have is to allow us to sell cars for coins in public service. This will save us a lot of time from having to scan through the world sale as well. World sale is still a good feature, but I believe we should be able to sell the cars for coins inside lobbies as well. My next suggestion is to allow us to change our cars while we are already inside an online room. This will save us a lot of time from having to exit the room to switch our cars, especially if you are in one of my car meets and don't want to leave. Next up, it would be great if we can save different sets of designs for the same car. This will prevent us from having to sell or delete the current design on one of your cars. Really useful to save time, money and to expand your collection. The next improvement we need is to have better damage physics and crash physics with the cars. Currently, the cars only get crushed in a mesh pattern when you crash, but it would be great to have individual parts of the car to react differently to crashes and break and fall off. Next suggestion is realistic steering wheel rotation. Currently the cars only turn their wheels at 180 degrees, we need a full 900 degrees of wheel rotation to make the car feel more immersive and relaxing to drive like the real world. It would be great if we could report a player's car, let's say, for example, you see someone using a glitch car. Glitch cars are horrendous and ruin the experience in the game for actually skilled players that want real fun. It should be possible to have these players IP banned from the game. The next thing we need is better traffic cars and NPC people. We have had these boring and repetitive cars for far too long, and the NPC people need improvements like being able to doge from the car coming at them and walk around obstacles and having interactions much better. It would be awesome if we get new weather effects, such as rain, snow and leaves blowing from the trees when it is windy. Of course this will be very performance demanding, but it would be nice to have for those who can handle it. We know that a few of the cars have the ability to open the hoods. It would be nice if they tried to remodel all of the cars. It doesn't have to be at once, but it would be great to start doing that. For more open hood options and ability to open the doors as well, like the recently added bus service,
we are in need of more detailed customizations as well. We should be able to add stickers to the car windshield and windows and also the wheels. It would also be great to be able to change the exhaust and test the sound in the garage without joining a room. We now have a car that is able to show a moving supercharger. So why won't they add the supercharger upgrades already? We have been waiting a very long time for this one. We have gotten used to the turbos already and need supercharger upgrades. The next thing we want to be added are motorbikes. They have already started adding other vehicles like buses and trucks, so it would now make sense to try and add bikes, even if it is the four-wheel quad bikes. It would make for some nice variety. It would also be nice if we get more houses, buildings and interactive locations, such as job areas, like working at one of the business places or even working at one of the repair shops as a mechanic, anything that will add a fun diversity to the gameplay. The next feature that everyone would love is offline police chases and active cops on the road. The current police cars serve absolutely no purpose other than driving mindlessly on the road. We need this to change to make single player more fun. Police officers should also be able to have visible guns, at least on their uniforms. I know the developers are trying to keep the game rating for kids, but it would appeal to their more loyal audience if they add more fun details like this to the game. One of the most underrated aspects in the game is the track racing community. To help this grow, I believe the developers should try to add more race events with offline race cars with more tracks. Even allowing more players to be able to join a single race would be a great change. The next thing that needs improvement is the skybox. We need more detailed types of sky and clouds to make the game look more immersive. The current ones are way too pixelated and make the rest of the game world dull. I hope they can change this in the near future, it would make the game great. Professional drifters that use rear-wheel drive would love to have a bigger steering angle for the Formula Drift and Pro Drift cars. Some of the cars also need a wider offset to help with the fitment of the body kits.
Another feature that players really want is air suspension and neon underglow lights for the cars. This would make the customizations come to life. And with air suspension, we won't have to worry about the cars bumping on curbs. Animated headlights would be nice as well. One of the most ignored aspect of the game environment is the water. I hope we can get interactive water physics in the future, or even be able to swim in the water at one point. It would be a fun way to pass the time and see your car float. Last, but not least, we need to have a lot of the current bugs in the game fixed, like cars lagging while driving close together, falling under the map, and many other bugs that we face. Comment down below what you think about all of these and as always, thanks for watching the video.